All of the benchmarks for Apple's brand new M2 chip have just leaked all over the internet. We're talking about Geekbench, Cinebench, GFX Bench. We got the graphics, everything included. All of it leaked this morning. And to be honest, I'm actually surprised and impressed by the performance because it's beating out Apple's own claims. So with that said, let's jump right into the leaks. First off, here's the headline report from Mac Rumors. Leaked benchmarks confirm M2 chip is up to 20% faster than the M1. And surprisingly, I was actually the first one to show this off on Twitter this morning, thanks to Amos. But before we get into these leaked benchmarks, I wanna mention that according to Apple, the M2 chip should be 18% faster in terms of multi-core performance. So just remember that because these leaks are impressive. And here it is, the first benchmark leak for the M2 chip, we have 1,919 points for single core and 8,928 points for multi-core, which is better than I personally estimated around five months ago when I made the M2 performance estimation video. But before I show you guys just how much faster that is compared to the M1 chip, I wanna go down into the system information and point out the base frequency. We have 3.5 four nine gigahertz, which is actually quite a bit faster than the previous M1, which was sitting at 3.2 gigahertz. So that means the clock speeds are sitting at around 11% higher than the M2 chip. And keep in mind that this model does have the 16 gigs of RAM, so it's not 24, which the 24 model could actually score higher than this. But going over to the Geekbench browser, we can see that the best score for the M1 chip was a thousand seven hundred and twenty in terms of single core and in terms of the multi-core we got seven thousand four hundred and seventy four in terms of the multi-core so that basically translates over to eleven point five six percent better for the single core performance as you can see in this chart and then nineteen point four five percent better performance in terms of the multi-core, which is better than my estimates because I personally estimated around 9.3% for single core and then 18% for the multi-core. So it seems like it's doing better than Apple showed off or claimed. And if you're wondering just how fast that number is in terms of the single core performance, 1919, keep in mind that the best mainstream consumer chip from Intel, their i9-12900K and the KF, they are the only ones that scored better than this brand new low power usage consumer level. <laughs> M2 chip, look at that, 1947 and 1990 compared to 1919. But wait, it gets better because there was another leak score, 1927, even better for the M2 chip. Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna say that it's Geekbench and it doesn't really show the real world performance or the performance under an actual workload. Well, thankfully the Cinebench scores leaked as well as you can see right here. In terms of the single core, we have 1,738 compared to 8,794 for the actual multi-thread or multi-core in Cinebench, which basically makes the single core thread performance 13.5% faster, which is actually very, very impressive. However, the multi-core is only 11.6% faster than the M1 chip in terms of Cinebench R23, which is a little bit disappointing, but keep in mind that Cinebench is still not fully optimized for Apple Silicon. Yes, it runs on metal. They got it to work on metal instead of actually working through Rosetta, but it still uses Ombre, I think it's called, so it's still kind of tuned for x86 chip and not for Apple Silicon. But now with that said, let's move over to the graphics performance, which Apple says the M2 chip is 35% faster than the M1. But you have to make a distinction here because the M2 chip actually has two more GPU cores. It has 10 instead of eight with the M1. So that's 25% more cores. So with that said, we should have expected 25% extra performance right out of the gate, but Apple is showing off 35 which means around 10% more from the actual IPC improvements themselves, which I thought was a little bit disappointing, but check out these new GPU leaks in Geekbench Metal. 29,800 
32, which is actually higher than my initial estimate five months ago of 28,874, which basically makes the performance improvement 41% faster with the M2 compared to the M1, which is actually pretty good. But wait, it gets even better than that because on WCF Tech, they actually found another leak for the GPU performance, which is even better. 30,627 points with the new M2 10 core GPU. That basically means that with this new leak score, the M2 is now 45% faster than the M1, and that is what I call an impressive improvement. But keep in mind, that's the 10 core version within the M2 MacBook Pro with the fan. So likely the MacBook Air is gonna be quite a bit slower in terms of the 10 core because of throttling. Maybe it might be around, I don't know, a few percentage points slower than that. And also so you have to keep in mind that the MacBook Air is gonna come with the eight core GPU at the base price. So if we consider the performance of the eight core, it should be around 25,000. 400, which is still a pretty impressive improvement compared to the 21,000 that you get with the M1. And once again, I know a lot of you guys don't like Geekbench, especially in terms of the metal performance. So thankfully, we also got some leaks with GFX Bench as well. As you can see right here, we have some new scores for the M2 chip, and I've put up a comparison with the M1. Now in Aztec Ruins normal tier, we have 295.6 FPS, compared to 203 FPS with the M1, which is 45.6% faster, which almost perfectly matches the score that we got with Geekbench. So this is pretty reliable, and I'm actually excited because I was not expecting that much of a performance improvement. Now moving on to Aztec Ruins High Tier, 109.9 FPS compared to 77.4, which is 42% faster than the 1440p Manhattan 3.1 1.1 off screen, 175.8 compared to 122.3, which is 43.7% faster. So it's staying pretty consistent. But then in car chase, for some reason, it slows down 229.8 compared to 173.2, which is only 32.7% faster. But still, I'd say that this is pretty impressive and I like to use Aztec Ruins because I think that's the most reliable and the highest end test. So, wow, there you go. That is incredibly impressive for the GPU and I've gotta take some of my words back because I was going off of Apple's claims and they were drastically underestimating their own GPU. So this is really good to see that the real performance leaked benchmarks are coming out now and confirming that it's faster than we expected. So with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did, let me know your comments down below and click the circle button to subscribe because we are gonna be ordering that new M2 MacBook Pro this Friday and we're gonna be testing everything with that new MacBook Pro, so definitely do that and check out one of those two right there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.